So I was on the TV show Stan Lee's Superhumans on the History Channel and they took me to a race in Austin and they lined up this group of runners. I went down the row and I introduced myself to all of them. I said, my name's Ron and they gave me their name. Then one by one they took off, after they gave me their name, they took off running. And it was probably at least uh, three miles around and then when they came back around the track, as they crossed the finish line, I said their name. What made this hard was, number one, they're finishing in a different order, but number two, there was hundreds and hundreds of runners out there, and I had to determine who were the 50 or so that I met. This is how I did it. Part of this was work that had to be done in advance, and that is, as I have created pictures for hundreds of common names. By the way, you can get that at the end of this video for free. Steve's a stove, Lisa's the Mona Lisa, Karen is a carrot, Brian is a brain. So this is work that I do in advance. I looked for a distinguishing feature on everybody that, that really was my, my anchor for them. When Megan said her name was Megan, I looked at her and her distinguishing feature was she didn't have any sleeves on her shirt. So the picture from Megan is a gun that shoots man and I imagine that she had that was shooting that mayonnaise on her arm. Whenever I met Liz, the distinguishing feature on her was her headband. Well, my predetermined picture for Liz is a lizard. So I planted a lizard in my mind on her forehead, and that lizard was running all around her uh, headband. Bill had these he, these this helmet on, and on the helmet he had these there was these black spots. Uh, air holes on the helmet and I imagine that my predetermined picture for Bill is dollar bills So I imagine dollar bills were sticking all out of his his helmet So when they came across the finish line again, I wasn't trying to remember their name I was looking at them and I was thinking okay Does this person have something unique about them that I've noticed before if the answer to that was no Then I determined well, I didn't meet them if the answer to that was yes I'm like, okay, what was it? So what was it that I said that stood out about this woman? Remember, I said she didn't have any sleeves, and I was shooting a gun of mayonnaise for May Gun, mayonnaise gun. What about this girl? Her headband was her distinguishing feature, and on that, I imagined a lizard. What about this guy? His helmet was his distinguishing feature, and I imagined dollar bills coming out of that helmet. And that's how I did it. I had a had a predetermined picture for everybody's first name. That's the first step. And then the second step is uh, I picked out a distinctive feature. Now, obviously, if as they were running, they would have taken off their headbands and their hats and their shirts, I would have been screwed, okay? So in real life, you don't want to pick things like headbands or, or, eye, or sunglasses or shirts. I did that because I knew it was safe. They weren't going to take off these clothes in a period of 20 minutes as they ran around. In real life, you're going to want to pick distinctive features that don't change. Big nose, uh, bushy eyebrows, beards, uh, hair, blue eyes, whatever. Things that won't change. But in this case, it was okay. If you want to get my pictures for names, I've turned hundreds of names into pictures already, and I'll give it to you for free. Just click the link below and enter your email address. Of course, like and share if you learned something, and subscribe because I'm always teaching great memory training tools. My name is Ron White. I was on Stan Lee's Superhumans on the History Channel. Stan Lee's the guy who invented Spider-Man and the Incredible Hulk. It was an honor to be on that show, and it's a privilege to share with you how I did it.